let's work with colors and textures in ZBrush. Once you've sculpted the base object, it's time to add color and texture to give it the lifelike look. For color, we want to make sure poly paint is turned on and we have color eyes selected. Under the color menu, go ahead and with the color that you have selected, fill the object. So now we have a good base painted on all the color. My next suggestion is because nothing is nothing has a very uniform flat color on it. Select a slight derivation of the color. And we'll turn off Z add. We don't need to use it. And on the RGB intensity, we're going to dial it back. RGB intensity is kind of like transparency. And so now I'm going to paint just some darker areas on. Also at this point, we want to make sure that we've divided our geometry. I just have 7,000 polygons right here. I want to bring it up close to a million. 500,000 is good. This will get the detail that we want out of the object. And of course at this time you can do things like smoothing the top too. Now the next thing we want to deal with is texture on the object. And for texture we're going to use alphas. Alphas are a great way to add texture. And there's some base alphas that we have here. But if you go into Lightbox, we even have some other alphas. So at the top of Lightbox, you can click on the different items, including alpha and material. And like, I'm going to find a, a nice bump skin alpha. And I'll select that twice so that the bump skin is actually in the alpha of the object. Now I'm going to select yet another color. And I'm going to turn Z add on at this point. And we're going to deal, dial up some RGB intensity, and we have to play around with the Z intensity too. Now this is trial and error. So I paint on my texture. And you see with the alpha, it's actually sculpting as well as painting on those areas. And I'll try to make my draw size bigger. I can get some bigger bumps on my object. And this is also a time when you could change up and get another color in there too. So that gives you a really nice bump texture. This is also a good time. I'm going to take off the alpha. to paint some other features on there if you want. I'll decrease my brush size. Striping or spotting or anything you want to do to really give your creature a good look. And this includes working with humans too. It's something that you can add on right there. You just work with just painting the different intensities and try to find some neat ideas for what you want to do.